Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on converting from a decimal with two plus digits recurring to a fraction. So we've got these recurring decimals and I'll explain what that means in a second and we're going to convert each of those to fractions. Now the steps are this. We firstly, we call each of these x, so we write each number as x and we write the digits repeating, I'll explain what I mean by that in a second, with the repeating digits. Step two is to work out how often the digits repeat. And again, I'll explain that in a second. And in response to that, we multiply by 10 or by 100 or by 1,000, etc. And then step three is to subtract. Right, so let's carry out these steps on this particular problem here. Now let's first explain what we mean by these recurring dots here. What we mean is that as we go from 0 0.27, as soon as we get to the second dot, we go back to the first dot. So it's 0 0.27, we got to the second dot, back to the first dot, 27, 27, 27, etc. And as per the instructions, we're going to write that as x. So x is equal to 0 0.27, 27, 27, etc. Let's just write out three times. It doesn't actually matter, but just show that the digits are repeating. And because this is recurring, this goes on forever. Now next, we want to work out how often the digits repeat. Now can you see, look, we've got 27, 27, 27. I like to do a little mark at the top here to show that you can see they're repeating every two digits. Now if it's repeating every one digit, we times both sides of the equation by 10. If it repeats every two digits, we times both sides by 100. If it recurs every three digits, we times both sides by 1,000, etc. So we times by 100. Notice that there's two zeros there and it recurs every two digits. So if we times this by 100, we move the decimal point two places to the right. So it becomes 27.272727, etc. Now, my advice is to line up these decimal points because otherwise it's going to make the next step more difficult. So we've got 27.272727. 27, 27. And it should be that these repeating digits here should line up. So these are both two, these are both seven, etc. Now, step three is then to subtract these. So we're going to do the second equation minus the first equation. What's 100x minus x? Well, that's 99x. 100 lots of x minus 1 lot of x is 99 lots of x. And then what happens when we subtract these? Well, can you see that because all these digits are the same, when we do this minus this, 2 minus 2 is 0, 7 minus 7 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, that's just going to all cancel completely. So we're just left with a 27 minus 0, which is 27. And then finally, I should add the extra step here, we just divide appropriately. So, we want to get x on its own because this number here is x, we want to work out what x is. Now to get rid of that 99 in front of the x, we divide both sides of the equation by 99. And if we do that, we get 27 over 99. And that is actually the final answer. We could simplify this further. Notice these are both divisible by 9. So 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. 99 divided by 9 is 11. And if we were to check that, if we were to write 3 elements on our calculator and press the SD key to convert to a decimal, oh, 0 0.272727. Exactly, we've got it right. Now what about the second one? I'm going to write it down here to leave some space. And again, I'm going to do step 1. We write this number as x x equals 0 0.342 and then as I said once we get to the second dot we go back to the first dot here so 0 0.342, 342, 342, twice will do, dot 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 because these go on forever and then we identify as per step 2 how often the digits repeat? Well, look, 342, 342 is every three digits, so therefore we multiply both sides of the equation by a thousand, noting that a thousand has three zeros corresponding to the three digits that are repeating. So if we times this by a thousand, the decimal point moves three places to the right, one, two, three, so it's 342.342, etc. So 342, again, making sure you line up these decimal places. 0.342, etc. And then step three is just subtract these equations. So 1000x minus x is 999x. And then this minus this, well, these are all the same, these digits, so these would just cancel when you subtract them. And we're just left with 342 minus 0 is 342. And then last step is divide. So to get rid of that 
times by 999 in front of the x. We divide both sides by 999, and that gives you x equals 342 over 999. Now let's try and simplify this fraction. We could divide top and bottom by 3, so that is 114, and that divided by 3 is 333. And we can divide by 3 again, and we get 38 at the top. And at the bottom we get 111, and I think that's as far as we can simplify that. So let's check the answer, 38 over 111, and I press the SD key, I get 0 0.342, 342, 342. That's great, because that's what that number is. So that's our final answer.